Here are some ideas for different ways to play chords. For this section, we will use the E chord. For each exercise, simply hold the chord with the correct fingers. You'll be able to alter the sound of the chord by applying the different techniques listed. The most common and basic way to play a chord is to strum it. Simply strum or play all the strings that are part of the chord at the same time. The slash marks after the initial chord represent repeating strokes. The best way to do this is to strum down, then up repeatedly. Another technique for strumming chords is to use a bass note between strumming the other notes of the chord. In the example below, first play only the bass note, then strum the remaining partial chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This example is slightly varied from the bass notes exercise. First, the bass note alternates between the sixth and fifth string. Also, notice when you strum the partial chord, you are not including all of the other chord notes. You are only strumming strings three, two, and one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The last two exercises used partial chords. The exercise below is yet another of the many partial chord strumming patterns you'll find in popular music. First, we strum strings 6, 5, 4, and 3 together. Then 3, 2, and 1. The rhythm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. The sounding of the notes of a chord in succession, rather than at the same time, is called an arpeggio. Simply put, this is picking out the individual notes of a chord rather than strumming them. You can play the notes with a pick, or with the fingers of your picking hand. The exercise below sounds notes on the 6th and 1st string at the same time. You can use a pick for the 6th string note and a finger for the 1st string or you can use your fingers for the entire technique.
A chord progression is a repetitive pattern of chord changes. It can be made up of any combination of chords. We've already learned the C to G chord progression. G to C can also be a chord progression. As early as our first three string exercises, we learned A minor and E minor. We mixed these with C and G and made a four chord progression. C, A minor, G, E minor.